Hi YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Hadassa. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. So for today's video, I have a friend of mine who's going to join us for this video. Her name is Beauty and yeah, I'm supposed to have her to introduce herself, but you know, now this seems to be. But yes. <laughs> For today's video, we're going to be talking about five things you should five things, right? Five things you should check off before getting into the dish. Tick off, check off, check, tick check. <laughs> Five things you should take off before getting into relationships in 2020 and even beyond. So if you're interested, bruh. <laughs> so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, let's get straight into today's video. The first thing you should check off your list is the big why. Now, um, why simply means you ask yourself why you want to get in a relationship now. Why do you want to date at this particular point in time? Why is it this particular person you want to date? Because I feel like a lot of people in our generation never ask themselves that white question. And even the people that even ask self, they don't actually give themselves the correct answer. They just shasha -sha say, we move, let's do it, let's go with the flow. Nobody really asks this. No big question. No, I feel like people do sha because I feel like before a friend gets into a relationship, you now ask that your friend, so why do you want to date this person? I don't no, know. It's always like, Oh, it's fine. <laughs> or like, ah, he has money. You get stuff like that. Or like, okay, he treats you well and stuff and stuff. And then, okay. And he said he wants to go with me. <laughs> and we are drink. Welcome him, our, our husband. So it's not really. People don't really ask why. And I feel like that why is necessary because it kind of lets you know that, okay, this is the reason why this person is this important to me. This is the reason why I'm staying committed. To this particular person, what's your motive? Like, do you understand? Let you know your mo exactly. Let I you know your motive for money, <laughs> extra money because there's money and there's there's money. money. I did it for um, attention, I did it for thriller, <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> Is that what you're dating for? You want to pepper us? We will be pepper motives. <laughs> we will be pepper. I will show that's a not when that's all. So it's one box to tick and you can tick that box um correctly. Let's move to the So next. the second box to tick is the am I ready box. Now guys, you know your why you, you know okay, I want to date this person because ah uh, I feel like I should date this person. <laughs> no problem. But now are you ready to date this person? Like are you ready to be there for this person when this person needs you to be there for him or her emotionally? You understand? Because relationship is not relationship is you giving somebody the opportunity to come into your personal space the opportunity to entertain unnecessary shalaya because <coughs> you will see things <laughs> you will see things it's forget all this um social you will see things so are you like ready emotionally to mentally you understand to undertake every single thing that comes in relationship are you, are you financially ready you understand because personally <laughs> i want to have money, money. Like money. Money. <laughs> I will spoil you. Exactly. Let's not be one-sided. Are you financially ready to enter? It's very important. It's important. It's not something that's. But I'm not saying you should have millions of naira, but like have millions. But like, are you financially ready? Because you can't tell me you go and date somebody and um I don't know. For instance, let me say you want and as little as transport to go somewhere. And the person that like, oh sorry. I don't have money this week. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? Like, what was that? I, I, I feel well in my father's house. I sleep well in my father's house. What was that? Do you understand? So are you ready in all aspects? Because, bruh, even spiritually, because I feel like there are people you date, bruh. You are not even married to the person, but you are fighting battles. Like, <laughs> you are fighting family battles from the person. I don't know even married. But well, it's not like it's not like we're taking life too seriously or anything. Like it's good to be spotted and we? stuff. I'm not but also, smart, but thinking about things ahead of time will save you a lot of, of stress, stress and drama. Like and you know the drama that comes yeah. with. So, bruh, thinking about these things is necessary. So ask yourself, are you ready? And if you can confidently answer yourself, then I feel like to an extent you are good to be. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready, yes. 
Yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, point is the short term or long term goals. So um, I put this because I have had some people that are like, oh, I just want to date this guy for like three months and that's it. Oh, I like this guy because of this and I just feel like six months and we should be done. So like, I feel like you knowing the kind of goals you want to achieve in this relationship you're entering, kind of like let you know, are you in this? Are you with this person for the long run, or you feel like halfway through it you're gonna be done? Because I want to ask a question. If you say you want to date this person like short term, eh, what is your idea? <laughs> no, what is the person offering you as let's say a partner that he or she can offer you as a friend? Okay. Like you get you're my friend. Like what to change when <laughs> What's going to change? For that short while. Yes, you get? True. For that short while, what exactly is the difference? Yes, all the different because we're not okay. I'm dating this person that I want to marry him. I'll say, Okay, like my mindset is going to be okay. I want to marry him. You get, and I'll be guided. Yeah, but I cannot say, Okay, I want to date for three, three months. What if, okay, let me ask you a question. What if at the end of the three months you still like the person? You say, Okay, no, it was three months. <laughs> yes, but yes, because <laughs> yes, talking about think about it, think about it. But I've actually had people that were like, oh no, I can't date this guy if you don't do more. That's, they just be that's that. And I'm like, I don't know, a lot of people just want to bear this, oh, he's my boyfriend title, he's my girlfriend title, oh, my man. And do you, do you know the irony? Some people don't even like the title. Title. Oh, my life. Just think about it. No but I feel like you should have more long-term goals with somebody who wants to get into a relationship with. And like if you break off the person in the is end, worth it. Like, yeah. you have to make sure the person is worth it. Like, if you have no life, I can sacrifice, you are I can sacrifice stuff for you. Then, then why then should you be I short term? Exactly. Yeah, that's a, why should you be short term? And I know it's reciprocated. You understand? So, just, I feel like just going to a relationship with an open mind. But like, don't give yourself a time limit on it. But people are wild on the street, my <laughs> guy. People are wild on the street. So, the so fourth point is um to test your compat compatibility. <laughs> 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 yes. To test your compatibility. compatibility, yeah. And when I say this, I don't um, <laughs> when I say this, I don't mean you should go to your phone, open this lock calculator or something, put your name flame. Or do flames. Or do flames, my guy. We did it. I don't mean that. <laughs> we all did it. If the name is not working, we'll now use another person's name so and call his bra. No. Use his nickname. Use his nickname. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what we mean. Like, open up situations or be careful to observe his, his or her. Oh, no, truly, I don't know. <laughs> Let me help you. His or her. Oh, yes, his or her reactions. <laughs> his or her reactions. In situations. Yes. Yeah, that's true. I mean, like, I'm on help. But it's a. Should I say two ways something? Because someone can be lying to you. Yeah. But let's pause on that. Let's talk about the ones that are not lying to you. Yes. It's actually really good. For example, okay. Um, remember that skinny guy in Chances movie at that end that he was. Yeah, he slapped her. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 I'm too right. sleepy. I'm wrapped. It is the big mouth. It is the big mouth. Why you be I can't come and collect from you, please. <laughs> Hello. So yes, put yourself in situation. Ask questions. Oh, communication is good, though. It's necessary. Ah, communication is very good. Put like, yourself in the situation. Put yourself. So you know. And then when you notice things, don't give excuses. Like I feel like a lot of people. Oh, he hit me once. He hit me twice. So and then you now guys me. Right. He apologized. Do you understand? You, you are your own person, you expect like so what you want and what you don't want. An argument yeah. with some friends. Mm. And then um they were like somebody can hide it for very long. Like and you won't know. Like probably um abuse, physical abuse. And I said no that you can't hide it you for can't that. Hide it. A person is a person. I may be wrong, but let's just look at it realistically yes because like you will tell me that the person not give like even the least less of me do you understand even if you just holding your hand like this like this that's that's not for you to be like okay to question it okay do you understand and personally i feel that there are hints and then probably we might overlook them because oh yes i like this yeah person. like i said don't give an excuse 
just once you notice those things but once you notice those things you don't like me so much that's why it's necessary for you to know what and what you like what are your standards because if you don't even know somebody can rubbish you and you won't even know that somebody is rubbish you do you understand so it's necessary for you to know that oh this is what i like this is what i don't like so when you start seeing the things you don't like and brah you take a step back nobody's gonna beat you it's your life leave it okay so the fifth um and the final one this is the fifth one yeah, yeah. The fifth, <laughs> the fifth and the final one is the who am I and who are you perspective and then I'm taking this in the direction of let's say religion and beliefs to me I'm not coming I'm not subbing anybody I'm not coming for anybody to me I feel like I don't think I can date a Muslim as a Christian because I believe that our religions are too different for us to I don't know we can't worship in the same place do you understand? And then let me say, okay, we now eventually really, really like each other and get married. Oh, <laughs> our children. I mean, what will be bearing a Muslim How will you name? Get married? Do you understand? Where will you get married? How in the works or in the church? <laughs> My parents are not allowed, but <laughs> let's say, let's say it could happen. Okay. You know, maybe you look or something, you know, just to get married and successfully you do. When you do give birth now, one child will be of the Muslim side, one will be of the Christian. You can't have, I don't know, you can't have family altars, you can't have discussions that you can relate to. I, I just feel like it's a whole lot of stress. Like, why put yourself through that emotional turmoil? But I don't I don't know. I feel like you shouldn't put yourself through that much well, stress. I'm saying I have a friend that um, her dad is a Muslim, okay, and her mom is a Christian. She's a Christian. So, and I see many other Christians. <laughs> I really don't know, but I know for a fact that she is a Christian. So, it may know, work for you, like probably one in ten. Do you understand? It may work, but like I feel like, bruh, I can't put myself through the emotional trauma. So, oh, uh, if you can, I mean, we're not here to tell you what to do with your life, but um, I don't know, think about it. And then certain beliefs, like I feel like some people, let's see this feminism thing now. You feel like um, you're a very strong feminist and then you're in a relationship with somebody that does not value such thoughts or beliefs or does not think that what you stand for Please, it's not is the right. reason that Nigerian women are kind of people that are Not that one. The real, the gong gong one, not that one. <laughs> you know, and then things happen where you speak out as a feminist and this person is not... I feel like when your partner supports you, you have that morale that you're doing the right thing. Because if your partner is... I'm on the bandwagon saying you're doing the wrong thing. Bruh, it demoralizes you, even if you know that what you're saying is right. So, learn to know who you are and who your partner is in terms of the religion, the beliefs, the likes, the dis a lot of things. Just, I know it sounds like you're being very serious, so like, uh uh, no my relationship is not marriage. <laughs> but like, I, feel like, I feel like you shouldn't be in a relationship. How would you be dating? How will you be dating 10 people before 20? Why? <laughs> to me, I don't think it's right. Like, I don't understand. What are you looking for? What exactly didn't you see the last person? Like, <laughs> 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 that you think you saw in the dead. And then you didn't see her. You're like, let me try another. Bro, people are human beings. You don't do that. <laughs> Before 20, when did you start dating? Please. That my side. Dead it. Dead it. Like, I feel like it breaks you. Consider yourself now. Are you not tired? So I'm not talking about the people. You gone gone. Like how far? Because I do I think I'll be tired. Like I will get fed up. I'm and there'll be nothing right new. Complete peace. I don't that I own nobody. I'm not giving you that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't yeah. know your why. You don't yeah. know your where. No, yeah. Which no. one? Why, where, how? <laughs> your why, your no. are you ready? Mm -hmm. Your the compatibility, mm -hmm. your goals. And then your beliefs, your religion, you need to know what you stand for. I feel like if you really know what you stand for, you won't really have to go through this process. Eh? Because if I know that I don't because want straight up, you know, yes, yeah, no, no, yeah. So, do you have any other things to add before we say bye to the guy? See, this girl, hmm, she's not this quiet in person, so I don't know why she's out here doing the but as well. As well, so I hope you enjoyed this video so much. If you need a continuation, are you down for that? If you need a continuation, let us know down below in the comment section. Also, we are very open to your thoughts, to other things we haven't mentioned. 
that you think is necessary to note let us know down below and um i think if you want to see how more in my videos at least until school tells us oh yeah um, let's be coming back yeah let me know too <laughs> let us know too so it's your girl hadassa and you have to shout for your name <laughs> and we'll be back again with more videos depending on you so bye guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like, like. don't forget to comment bra don't forget to turn your post notifications and um we'll see you soon see you soon bye